Hey guys, today you're going to get back your self-portrait. You need to grab a messy paper two off of the front counter so we don't get anything on our table. If you did not finish coloring your hair, and your skin, and your eyes, and your teeth, and if you have glasses, your glasses, you need to do that first. If you're that far, you're ready to move on to your clothing and the background. So I'm going to pick one color for my clothing. So I'm going to do blue. I'm going to color that entire thing that color. Notice how I outline the shape first. And then I can just go in and color it from there. So you can see I'm doing my zip up, this bluish color. Now I've got a colored blue. I'm going to come in with some other cool colors and give that a little bit of detail. So maybe I want to outline the edge of my collar a bit. You might not need to do that. If you don't have a collared shirt, then you're all set to go. I could add a little bit of shadow to it. Once again, sticking to my cool colors. Adding some blobs of different colors here and there. Maybe I want to do some green in some areas. Now I can work on my v-neck shirt. Alright, I've got my shirt done, got my face done, my hair done. Last thing I need to do is the background. The background is going to be kind of tricky because I don't want to put cool colors on the background next to my shirt because then my shirt's going to blend in with it. Same as my skin, if I'm next to my skin, I'm not going to want to use warm colors. So you need to slow down and think about which colors you're using around certain parts of your body. So I'm going to do some warm colors in this area. And then you can mix them a bit. The background's really just blobs of color. I'm getting kind of close to my beard, so I want to use some warm colors over there too. So I'll put just a little bit cool in here. It's next to my skin. Same as over here. Cool colors. So we don't want those all to blend together. That would not be good. My hair is cool colored, so I need to probably want to use some warm colors up here. So you're pretty much using the opposite when you get around whatever you're coloring. When you are this far, you are all finished. All right, so first you need to finish your skin and your hair, your teeth, your eyes, and your glasses if you have them. Should have got that done last time. If you didn't, you need to do that. Then you're going to move down to the shirt. I started just like last time with one base color, so I did blue, and then I came in with some more colors on top, so I did kind of a purple to outline the edge of my collar. I also did some green on the collar. I also did my v-neck underneath. Then you're ready to move on to the background. Remember with the background, you want to use colors that don't match with whatever they're touching on your face. So for example, when I was by my beard or my hair, because those are cool colors, I wanted to use warm colors around them, so that way they didn't blend into the background. Same with my skin. When I was using the warm colors on my skin, I wanted to use cool colors on the background. So once again, I did not blend in. I want to make a nice neat pile of these up front. Make sure to clean up your area when you're all finished.